Let's see this more developing news tonight. This massive hole. Look at this right here. This forms near one of the busiest intersections in Jacksonville. It's right on the side of Beach Boulevard near Hodges and First Coast News reporter Lana Harris was there as crews began to make repairs. Yeah, this hole was absolutely massive. Please excuse the rain on the camera. Um, thankfully, it's not coming down as hard as it was earlier. I know these guys appreciate it because they are still out here working on it. Let's see if we can get you guys a little bit closer to what the hole looks like on the actual street. Um, it's right on the other side of this car here. It was so big. I'm telling you, I'm 5'10", and I'm willing to bet if I would have gotten inside of the hole, I'd have been covered up and then some. So this area has been roped off pretty far back, but earlier today I was able to get right up next to that bad boy. We've got video of it right here. So big. Thankfully, no one was driving on this when it happened. It might have been swallowed up. So there seems to be running water underneath there. The dirt underneath the sidewalk is completely gone. I get this. We talked to one resident who says this is not the first time something like this has happened. He says a few weeks ago, FDOT had been called out because a smaller hole had developed right in the same spot. Crews came out and did what he called a patchwork job, just kind of filled it in with some dirt and called it a day. And here we are a few weeks later. He says this is three times the size of the one before. So FDOT says they are looking into those complaints. If there have been some, lots of people have been stopping by, never having seen anything like this before. Take a listen. I've never seen anything like this before. This is crazy. Huge. I mean, you can see the pipes down below and the water running and so forth. Uh, I'm just amazed at the depth and, and the scope of it. Now, JEA does tell us that this is an FDOT hole. We are going to be doing some digging to figure out how this happened in the first place. But meanwhile, JTA says that they will not be having bus services in this area because of the hole and that this road right here, this right hand turn lane into the Wolf Creek condominiums plus this sidewalk should be closed for the next seven to eight hours. Reporting in Jacksonville, Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.